Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce and it's James and right now we're gonna talk about GM of the week. The GM of the week is obviously Masai Ujiri and uh, since 2013 he made eight trades between December to February before the trade deadline. And since those trades that you guys got Mark Gasol, Ibaka, PJ Tucker, Vasquez, Salmons, and Patrick Patterson and that's very impressive and he's one of the best GM and you think you guys can add more assets and around the NBA there's some rumors that Raptors might trade players like Mark Gasol because of his contract and other things like that who do you guys think gonna get traded or who who do you guys should go for like Kevin Love should they go for Kevin Love mm. I feel like we should keep them because they are key assets to our to our, like your first half of the season um despite the injuries and everything um i don't think we're giving enough credit to Serge Ibaka and like even and like even with Gasol he was a little bit in and out a little wonky and everything but i just feel like now that we're coming later into the season they have been viable for, mm -hmm. for us it depends on what they were trying to do i mean in terms of are they trying to make a run for conference finals? Or are they making are trying to make a run for really finals to make you know to run it back second? Just because if you look at it, they're great because of the chemistry that they had and the championship experience, but uh, they still don't have that. You know, I you think, can still feel. You think we're missing a piece? We're missing a piece, and I feel like Ibaka and Gasol has been great for us because they're the kind of players that you can you can plug in, plug you know, plug them in. And they can work their way around, but then you need the kind of player that we're gonna need. Some like I feel like Lowry's great, but he's not the kind of shot maker that like Kawhi was. I mean, Pascal's been great so far, but I feel like Pascal's gonna have a lot of tough, a, a tough time once playoff comes because they're gonna have their defense set on stopping him because yeah. everybody knows that he's gonna be right. The difference is what we had with uh, with Kawhi last year is that. Everybody tried to stop Kawhi, which gave you opportunities of Pascal to really shine and bloom and yeah. allowed open opportunities for Lowry and Van Fleet to make, you know, to do what they do best. I've seen, you know, Van Fleet do what he does, but then if defenses are really focused on, it's hard for him because of his size, right? And the, what he's been able to do last year that had done it so well because of the fact that he had Kawhi to have focus on the off, uh, on defense and then Pascal is there to complement it too. So that's opening lanes up. And I feel like when defense slows down, those things that you know Van Fleet can, can do in Lowry, it's going to be harder in the playoffs. So I feel like with the piece that you have with Ibaka and Gasol, that expiring contract is going to be so key for them because teams that are looking to you know, um, unload a couple of players next year or maybe a star player next year. So then they can re restart their franchise. They can have players like Ibaka or Gasol, which have expiring contracts. I can see something for next year, but I just don't see something right now. Mm -hmm. Right? So I mm -hmm. just feel like we've... We're our good, best bet we're, is, yeah. yeah, our good... We're, we are good with what we have. Mm -hmm. That's the way I see it. We're good, but we're not great with what we have. And I feel like, you know... Uh, I mean, Kevin Love could be that piece. But is it a is it a is it to reach its like maximum potential with Kevin Love, like for mm -hmm. it to us to be for us to become defending champions? Mm -hmm. I don't see that. That's, it might, but I don't know if we can even go past conference finals with what we have, because if you, when we face players like Giannis, I mean, even it's it's even harder because the way they're built right now is perfectly fit for Giannis' strength, and. And I feel like if we had to face them, like I don't think we're gonna go in for our second round. As much as we were able to beat him a couple of times here and then, the way he's grown as a player, the way he shoots now, despite his mediocre shots, this, it's, it's improving. He, yeah. shoot, he takes the shot. Yeah. That's the thing, and he can make <clears> them now, and he's not afraid to take them. So my take is, who could be that one piece? You guys just and, need a closer. Yeah. Because yeah. when it comes uh -huh. in the end of the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You know, Kawhi carried you guys like crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh the, yeah, he, especially when we were falling apart, he was there to pick us up, kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. So with this one, you see, you saw Kyle Lowry choke sometimes. You mm -hmm. saw Pascal choke by in mm -hmm. five, I mean, in games game six or game seven. But of, this could be different for these two. Yeah, now, it could be right? different. It could be yeah. different, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of agree with both sides actually. I kind of mm -hmm. agree should they should, but at the same time, you should you know it develops players like it gives mm -hmm. the dog mentality like you said. Give it earlier. to them. They, it's that yeah. chip on the shoulder. It's the yeah. It sounds like a good story for them. Yeah. Without a Kawhi, without a superstar player, you have all these late picks, and then mm -hmm. and you wouldn't. And then you're defending time. It sounds time. good. It sounds good. Yeah. That's but the way in, I'm seeing. But like, in, if we have to look reality. at a realistic statistic, you yeah. know, 
max cap space, all that kind of, you know, yeah. blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see this like with mm -hmm. a missing piece for it. But at the same time, I just feel like this is like we don't need that kind of change right now. Mm -hmm. Invest in it for next year. But what we have right now are like the key players that we should invest in. Mm -hmm. But the thing that's the good thing about it is because if <clears throat> let's say it doesn't work out um, with uh, with the trade, Right, but at least you have some young develop. Like you know, you don't have to give up your young assets because nope. you're technically giving a valuable trade pieces like Ibaka and Gasol, and Gasol because yeah. their yeah. contract are expiring. They get them off their books so next year. Whoever try to sign some free agents for next year, even though it's a weak class, it, hmm. you guys need uh, Marcus Gasol for Joel and Embiid technically. Because mm -hmm. if if Marcus Gasol is gone, yeah. who's gonna guard Joel and Embiid? So he's been that yeah. good. Gasol against yeah. Joel every time. Been, yeah. <laughs> every time. <laughs> That's his Every time. That's yeah. true. That is his even this this past week's game. So yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, even last night, even mm -hmm. Joel and me didn't play. But <laughs> even for yeah. talks about Norm, uh, um, getting Norm in, has been amazing. This so season. like he's increasing wow. his value, like trade yeah. value. But do you see yeah. the Raptors trading him? He could be a valuable piece. I mean, yeah. I don't think he's gonna trade. Him. I don't think they're gonna it trade him because of what yeah, he's been was, doing for this team. He's been so patient, but it all depends too. And well, you how, know those rumors you hear, yeah, right? Like, it all do you depends see them on how let's say now? OG develops um, and how uh, Terrence Davis. Because you, know, yeah. you you can't have all these guards, and and for that, you know, you have Van Fleet, Lowry, you have OG, Terrence Davis. Norman Powell, Pascal, like that's a lot of forwards. And then like yeah. Chris Boucher is there too. So that's a lot of forwards to kind of play around with. It's either you choose the one that you want to stick with and then make some move right now and see if you can make the most. Because I don't know, Norman had this kind of season like one time and we thought, hey, Norman Powell is going to have a breakout season. And then one or two, like there's two seasons when he's stalled and when nobody, yeah. like we would without you give out. And he has the season now again where he's like rejuvenized. I don't know what to expect next year. I don't know because he's... Maybe. Well, Nick he's, Nurse is kind of like mm. depending on him lately. Because mm -hmm. remember the first game he shot, the game when he shot? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's how Nick Nurse is. He likes mm -hmm. to like, okay, do this. So yeah. when you play off time, you yeah. better You're be ready. ready. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like that. Put them on the edge during the season yeah. so they can be ready for the actual real thing. Yeah. Like what you said. Yeah. I see that, right? Yeah. Nick Nurse is that type of coach and he's by far one of the best coaches we've ever had and by far the best in the East too. I agree. Yeah, I agree yeah. with you fully. <laughs> Especially with Ben Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Every Let's time. See, the brighter future in Philly. Yeah, okay? It's always sunny in Philadelphia, right? Yeah. So, well, that's all we got, guys, for All About the Raptors. But when we come back, ball culture.